Hello and welcome back to Numika's life hack series. Today we will talk about meshing and in particular about two possibilities for refinements within the meshing process. In the beginning of your uh, meshing you are setting up the general surface refinements, the cell size and so on. So you have a mesh which you want to continue working with and you see here a mesh without additional refinement geometry. As a next step, you can choose a volume refinement. In that case, simply it's a box, which you can see here. And inside that volume, everywhere is refined with a certain refinement level you're defining. However, another possibility is not to use the complete volume for refinement, but to use the surfaces of this box, for example, to refine these surfaces. You can see that here. Or one further option is, that you're just refining the geometry you are interested in and not the volume or the surface of this refinement volumes. And I will show you how to select the different refinement options in Fidelity. As I said, you have your standard mesh already defined with the surface refinements you specified and now you want to add refinement geometries. So you can copy this and paste. That should be a mesh with refinement. And you can add here a re refinement geometry. For example, a cube which I defined in the geometry context. And then you have here a list with the refinement geometries, in that case it's only one. And you can specify a volume refinement with two refinement levels, or the surface refinement, or the surface within the volume refinement. And that's basically it. You can afterwards start the meshing process. Another way of refining geometries is the so-called proximity refinement where you can define between different surfaces and depending if they are touching each other or not, if they are connected through a conformal edge or not, you can select different types of proximity refinements which are listed here and you can look in the menu which one is the proper selection for your certain case. But there's one new proximity refinement option which I want to show you now. And with that option you can define a leading edge, for example, which you can see here. Here you have a nice refinement automatically detected and compared to the other case where no refinement is selected. I will show you that in Fidelity how that works. Again, you have your case without refinement and the one where you want to use certain refinements. First important thing is that you select the case here, but also here you see that, that you can select that and should do that in order to use the proximity refinements. Then up here you have the proximity manager, which is right now empty. So you're creating a proximity refinement. And here you have the different types which are described in the manual, but also now the isotropic edge refinement, which is the one we are selecting now. Then you're defining the smallest possible cell size. And you're creating sets, two sets. In the first one, we are adding the upper surfaces. And in the second one, we are adding the lower surfaces. And by defining the two sets, the leading edge will be automatically refined in the meshing. And for that, you can start the meshing process again. So that was it for today. I hope you got some new ideas for your meshing in Fidelity Express. Just let us know if you have any questions and otherwise see you next time. Thank you.